Hello everyone, this is Today in History. Today is January the 24th, the 24th day of 2024. There are 342 days left in the year. On this day in 41 CE, the Roman Emperor Caligula was murdered at the Palatine Games by Cassius Serrera, a tribute of the Praetorian Guard, Cornelius Sabinus, and others. Common Era CE and BCE, before the Common Era, are year notations for the Gregorian calendar and its predecessor, the Julian calendar, the world's most widely used calendar era. Common Era and before the Common Era are alternatives to the original Anno Domini, AD before Christ BC notations, notations used for the same calendar era. On this day in 1556, an earthquake in Shenzhen, Shanxi Province, China, killed 830,000 people. On this day in 1848, James W. Marshall discovered a gold nugget at Sutter's Mill in Northern California, a discovery that led to the gold rush of 1949. That's where the 49ers comes from. On this day in 1862, Edith Wharton, an American author, author best known for her stories and novels about upper-class society was born. On this day in 1908, the first Boy Scout troop was organized by Lieutenant General Robert Baden Powell in England. On this day in 1940, The Grapes of Wrath, the acclaimed adaptation of John Steinbeck's classic novel, had its world premiere. The character Tom Jodes, soliloquy on the poor, reflecting his empathy for their plight, remains one of the most famous scenes in film history. On this day in 1941, American singer-songwriter Neil Diamond, who wrote pop songs for other musicians before landing a successful solo recording career, was born. On this day in 1943, President Franklin D. Roosevelt and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill concluded a wartime conference in Casablanca, Morocco. On this day in 1945, Associated Press wartime correspondent Joseph Morton was among a group of captives executed by the Germans at the mauthausen gusen concentration camp in Austria. On this day in 1965, when Winston Churchill died in London, England at the age of 90. On this day, 1978, a nuclear-powered Soviet satellite, Cosmos 954, plunged through Earth's atmosphere and disintegrated, scattering radioactive debris over parts of northern Canada. On this day, 1984, Steve Jobs introduced Apple's revolutionary computer, Macintosh, two days after the groundbreaking commercial, 1984, aired before a national TV audience and heralded the computer's impending release. The Macintosh computer boasted a built-in 9-inch monochrome display, a clock rate of 8 megahertz, and 128K of RAM. On this day in 1985, the Space Shuttle Discovery was launched from Cape Canaveral on the first secret all-military shuttle mission. On this day in 1989, American serial killer Ted Bundy, who confessed to murdering 30 women, though many believe the number to be much higher, was executed in Florida. On this day in 1993, American lawyer and civil rights activist Thurgood Marshall, who was the first African American to serve on the United States Supreme Court from 1967 to 1991, died at age 84. On this day in 2003, former Pennsylvania Governor Tom Ridge was sworn in as the first Secretary of the new Department of Homeland Security. On this day in 2004, launched in mid-2003, the six-wheeled robotic rover Opportunity landed on Mars. Like its twin rover, Spirit, which had landed on January the 3rd, analyzed rocks and soil and relayed pictures back to Earth. On this day in 2011, a suicide bomber attacked Moscow's busiest airport, killing 37 people. Chechen separatists claim responsibility. On this day in 2013, President Barack Obama's defense secretary, Leon Panetta, announced the lifting of a ban on women serving in combat. On this day in 2018, former sports doctor Larry Nasser, who had admitted molesting some of the nation's top gymnasts for years under the guise of medical treatment, was sent to 40 to 147 years in prison. On this day in 2023, the sci-fi indie hit Everything Everywhere All at Once led Oscar nominations at 11. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Today is January the 24th, the 24th day of 2024. There are 342 days left in the year.